Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Chow Font Latimer today, and this is the old Chesham Bay. We're not going to Chesham today, we're actually going to go to Amersham, but I thought we, I would start the video here, just have a look at this old Chesham Bay. So I remember in the days of the A-stock trains, used to get four car A-stock trains used to depart here for Chesham. In fact, there's a train just coming off the Chesham branch. When the S-stock trains came along, they there was no four car version so they began to run through trains to Chesham as well as Amersham. Well Chesham's loss was Amersham's gain because Amersham basically lost its four trains an hour to London. Well four tube trains an hour and two Chiltern trains. So now it has two Chiltern trains and two Metropolitan Line trains. I do think that with the, with the trains to and from Chesham I wish they would be fast and then the semi-fast could be for Amersham. It just be better but anyway. Um, because if you're here, it's about an hour in central London. As I said though, we're not, we're not going to Chesham, nor are we going to central London. We're just going one stop to Amersham. And the reason we're going to go to Amersham is to have a look at this display of the Met Number no. 1 steam locomotive which they've built. It's a narrow gauge, well it's on narrow gauge tra track. It's a scaled down version of Met Number no. 1, which I have seen pass through here in the past on various steam on the Met events and along with various other steam engines. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go over the other side and wait for my train to Amersham. Chowfort Latimer. Furthest track over there is the Chesham branch, which I mentioned on the platform. It runs parallel for a way to the Metropolitan Main Line, but as you can see, it's now getting further and further apart and it will descend down into the Chess Valley to Chesham. It's the longest distance between Chowfort Latimer and Chesham between any two London Underground stations, but the, I think the Chesham branch is a video for another day. It's just making a bit of a cameo appearance in today's video. You can see now it's getting further and further apart. When we get to Amersham, the thing we'll see that I always think is quite funny, so yeah, we're losing sight of the Chesham branch now. Chesham is the furthest west station on the London Underground, but it's not the furthest west point because the track, the four rail, as it's known, does continue beyond Amersham to some sidings. Now those sidings are actually further west than Chesham Station, but if you were to say sit, in that seat there, those two seats at the front of the train, that's the furthest you can go on a passenger if you were to be on one of these trains going down the Chesham branch. So yeah, a little bit of, um, I always find that quite an interesting fact. So of course this line continues on to Aylesbury and Aylesbury Vale Parkway and eventually in the, in the future we'll be able to travel right up to Milton Keynes. So that's definitely something to make a video on. We're now just coming into the suburbs of Amersham down there, I mean, you can't really see it, but it's White Line Road, which runs between Chalfont Latimer and Amersham. Now, as I said, Met number one, it's worked up and down here during steam on the Met. I've never actually had Met number one on this section of track. I've done steam on the Met on this section of track, not with Met number one. But I have had Met number one down the Chesham branch, top and tailing with um, the Prairie tank engine, which um, was a bit of a fictional London Underground loco. It was Metropolitan 175 for the 175th anniversary. So I've done steam down to Chesham when Met number one, which I'm quite proud of. In fact, it was Met number one that started steam on the Met back in 1989, and it worked down the Chesham branch with the Pannier tank um, 9466. There's a siding just coming here. You can see it's not electrified yet. When they did steam on the Met, they were quite often water the steam locos on this siding, it was quite good. You could sit in the car park, you could stand on this bridge here, um, Hiram's Lane, and watch the watering the steam loco. So we're just coming into Amersham now. I'm interested to see which platform they put us in on. The other thing I want to do, there's a new footbridge here, and it's just me, I like to do things that are new. It's um, 
got lift, so I'm going, my plan is to go over that bridge. Who knows, my luck will put us in on the platform. Oh, no, I think it's all right, yeah. They've also put a much bigger multi-storey car park, so if you used to stand there and watch the water, it wouldn't be quite the same, it would see the older car park. And sometimes I'd stand on the top of that and watch the steam on the Met departing. Yeah, so we're coming into the platform, as long as it was one of these two, I'll, I'll be happy. That said, I don't actually think you can get into that the up platform from this direction, so it wouldn't really have been a problem. It's, a fun, it's quite unusual actually here, because you've got the footbridge, you've got this red footbridge coming up now, that's a public footpath that takes you right over the whole station. And um, but there is a connection with the old footbridge, which when they were refurbishing the old footbridge, they actually had in use. So this is the new footbridge. I don't actually think, although it's got the steps, they're closed out public use. So we, we won't be able to go up there. So as we get off the train here at Amersham. So this is the furthest west, so that's the furthest west roundel on the London Underground network. No, it isn't, it's the furthest west roundel on the Metropolitan Mainline, sorry. Although um, Amersham is the furthest west station, obviously on this line, Chesham's the furthest west station, but the sidings which you may just be able to see up there, they are the furthest west point on the London Underground network. So this is the new footbridge which we can see here. So I thought we'll go over that just for fun. So there's no, well as I say, the stairs on the other side, but I could see it looked like they were gated off and you couldn't access them. So it's purely lift only for the public to use. It's even still got an old London Underground shunt signal there, which is quite an unusual feature. That's for the red footbridge I mentioned. There it is there. So that goes, it's public footpath. I have filmed trains there before. Last year when I filmed the railhead treatment trains, I filmed some of them from on that red footbridge. So let's try out this new footbridge. So this appeared at some point in the last year or so. It's not brand new. Certainly not as new as the um, electric steam locomotive, which we're going to see. So here we go. So yeah, I think um, it's got doors on each side, so we'll be going out this side when we get to the top. Up we go. Exit. I'm up to 17 people in this lift. Seems like a lot of people. So, here we are on the new bridge. So, it's the steam engine we're looking for is at the end of the street up there. That's quite a nice. You can see the, so that's the old footbridge, the one that wasn't, um, you know, access for all. So it's quite good now, they've got two footbridges. And there's the train we came on, see you, get a better view of those sidings. Which are the furthest west point on the London Underground network? Now there are steps, but we can't use them, they're locked. And they're quite narrow as well. What I'm going to do now then, I'm going to go down that lift, go out the station, Walk to the end of Hill Avenue, and that is where we're going to go and find this Met Number One replica. There we are, coming to the other end of Hill Avenue. Station is just down there now. I can just see it. You might come and want to be picking it out. This replica of Met Number One. Now, I did make a video, I have already done a video on this about six weeks, a month ago, when the train itself had been put there but the display around it wasn't finished it was all fenced off I just wanted to show it was there but now we're going to see the finished display and that's what I'm quite excited about coming to see so if you look in front of us you can see the carriages if you take it's really convincing looking like taking pictures I posted some pictures and I was, or I was showing them to friends and they were like that's real, isn't it? Have they put met number one on this corner? I said, no, no, it's not real. It's when I stand next to it, you'll see. So, here we are. It's got a nice little fence and flowers around it. It looks very good. So there's a couple of met number one carriages, or met number one and a couple of metropolitan carriages. This one's number is 335, and it's a third class carriage. And there's a guards compartment on the other end. And then we have 353, which is a first class carriage. Interestingly, look, it says on it Chesham Locomotive and Carriage Works. First Chesham Boy Scouts. So it was a project by the local scouts to build this um, whole replica train. It's nice, so it's got a little works plate. 
And then, of course, the most exciting thing, Metropolitan Number no. 1 itself. Looks great, doesn't it? Oh, so it's really nice that we have this display here in Amersham Town Centre. Um, you know, you're going to drive fast and people go, oh, that's interesting. And then if you look at the end, there's like a replica level crossing. Three inch cross lights. Not that there were very many level crossings, if any, on the underground, but still, it's a nice touch, so I'm not going to, you know, it looks, yeah, very, very good, I think. There is a display board here telling you a bit about it and there's also a picture of Met number one at Amersham station. I wonder if now if Met number one ever comes to Amersham again it'd be quite literally a long shot. Probably with a new footbridge you wouldn't get it because you get the two Met number one and this one together. Perhaps one if Met number one's ever on a lorry going from say Quainton to somewhere. They should bring the lorry this way just so we can see the two Met number ones together. That'd be quite fun. It just it looks really nice though. I wish every town had like well not every town. That'd make my job harder, I'd have to go and make a video. But I wish more towns had things like this. Like when I go to Europe especially, you often find plimp steam locos. Especially in Hungary, Czech Republic, Slovakia, former Yugoslavia, you'll often find the plimp steam loco, but you don't so much find them in Western Europe. You might find a few in Germany. Never seen any in France, but it's I think it's really nice to see. So it looks like it's all made out of, of wood. Um I hope it, you know, I'm sure if it's looked after it will continue to look nice. I really hope it doesn't get vandalised. I'd like to think we don't have those sort of people in this town, but, you know, that 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 is my only concern, um, that people could vandalise it, but then hopefully they won't. I can't see much else in Amsterdam that's been vandalised, so I, really, I think, you know, like I say, it looks fantastic. They even got some coal in there. So, um, yeah, you can't actually sit in the carriages. It looks like it's on a two-foot gauge track. I should have brought a tape measure with me, shouldn't I? And measured the track. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll measure it with my own feet, so I on the um, on the level crossing section. Um, so I'm pretty sure to me I might be two foot six actually, the gauge. I know the gauge probably doesn't matter to most people, they're just pleased to see, you know, a nice display. Let's have a look. How wide is this track? Okay, I'm gonna measure it with my own feet, which are approximately that's more than two feet. Well, I would say that's two foot six to um, three foot, but not entirely sure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of this fantastic new display here in Amersham Town Centre. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to come and see it, as I showed, it's very, very easy. You just come on the train to Amersham and you just walk up Hill Avenue and here it is. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from Replica number one here in Amersham, goodbye.